with Scan Power. I'm going to talk to you today about listing in the new boxed. So the new boxed has been available for about eight months and supported more of a replenish, restock workflow um, and has been primarily used by larger sellers, prep centers, warehouses, wholesalers. Um, and we've recently added the ability to list new items, um, both individually and, and through importing. So um, we've removed the list and um, batch menu items. So now to get to listing, you just click on the boxed menu. And we have a pretty comprehensive FAQ on how to use the new box, including an intro video. So I'd recommend that you watch that first to get a sense of the new user interface um, and its capabilities. Um, again, the, the UI is very similar to the old boxed. If you hide the batches and just show, uh, you know, boxes and unpacked items and shipments, it, it looks very similar to the old boxed. Um, but it does have um, some changes to the UI, uh, particularly when a batch is selected, we are only going to show the shipments and the items that flow from that batch. And the context of, of that selection or your what we call the global search appears here at the bottom. So when no batches are selected, we see all batches and purchase orders, all shipments. Uh, when a purchase order is selected, we see all of the batches that are within that purchase order, as well as all the shipments that flowed from that purchase order, including archived shipments. So it's, it's more context aware. Uh, but I, I talk a bit more about that in the intro video. Uh, today, we're just going to look at listing items in the four workflows for, for adding items, new inventory items. So the first is when inventory is on the buy list, you can list it individually. And, and this would be similar to the old OA flow where we'll pull the item from the buy list and you can generate a new M SKU, which is defined in your settings. Uh, if it's based on an MSKU template, um, the new box will pull over all of your old settings or your existing settings. So nothing needs to change there. Uh, one slight difference is if, if you have, for example, cost coded in your MSKU and you change the cost, you just need to re-click this refresh MSKU button to show that, to, to update that. Then the next thing is we can set the quantity, set the price, and then click add to batch. And similar to the old batch private listing, those items will go into the batch from the buy list. Now, if you had four quantity on the buy list and we listed only one, the remaining quantity will stay on the buy list. So this is the OA flow where you receive part of the shipment uh, from the supplier, you want to go ahead and list it, and then later you receive the rest of it. So the second individual listing flow is when it's not on the buy list. So again, you're going to scan the SKU into the top input bar. If no listing exists, um, you know, you can set price, you can set cost, and then you can generate the MSKU based on those if, if the template includes cost or source or things like that. Um, currently source is missing from this dialog, but that's going to be added um, today as of Friday. So um, you'll see that shortly. Um, if the item is case packed, you have the option of uh, providing you know, number of cases and quantity in case, and then this will flow into the batch as a case packed item. If it's not, uh, you can just use straight quantity like we always have in list. So 
items in a batch, if it's a new listing, will be flagged with, with no listing exist. And all that means is similar to the old batch, you have to say create listings to send the product and in inventory feeds. And then in this case, this item has a listing. It's a replan from earlier. So uh, we don't have to send a, a, a product feed for it. This we previously sent a feed for and were gated in. So that's why this has a red error. Um, so we've, we've spent a lot of time making um, errors and information a little more relevant and easier to, uh, to see as you're in the flow. So the final two ways to create new listings are import by list, which is similar to the batch and list import by list. Again, you have items that don't, if they don't have uh, an MSKU, we will generate a new one and it will say uh, not replen. And you can then change any of the attributes of that item before you import it. You can import individually or you can import all. And then the fourth means of adding new inventory is through import spreadsheet. And that again is exactly um, as it behaved you know previously so we'll we'll show you a preview of what's going to be imported in this case um, the item only had an M a UPC so it's not able to find the data but yeah that's just a quick uh, rundown of listing through the new boxed uh, once listings are created for all the items, this Create Listings button will spin when you're creating listings, and then we'll update the product feed and inventory feed statuses with success in green, and then you'll be ready to create a shipping plan. And the shipping plan for these items um, pretty much looks exactly as it did in the old list and batch. So we'll go ahead and create a listing for this item. If you'd like to see the status of these feeds that are submitted, you can go to boxed feeds and behind the scenes we'll show the batch or the shipment ID um, and which feeds we're actually processing. So that's an intro to box listing and uh, with the new boxed. If you have any questions, please contact support at scanpower.com. Be happy to uh, open up a Zoom call with you and share your screen. Again, thanks for using the new box.